Uh, my first question, I told myself, my first question I wanted to ask you today when I came on, I wanted to ask you this question and it's serious and I want you to take your time. Uh-huh. It's simple though. Um, We know you spoke about Thug and his mental, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, you spoke on the key situation, rest in peace. Uh, you spoke on so many others, and every time you do an interview, you speak on so many people. Mm-hmm. And I, and of course, I want to talk about that as well, but something switched in my head when I was doing my research, and I'm like, damn. I don't think nobody asked you, like, how do you feel? Like, how are you? <clears throat> um, I'm good. Like, I'm just really maintaining. I think, like, Key passing away was, like, one of the most – I'm doing good. I think – Key passing away was like one of the most hardest things. Like I've been through, it's been other situations and I've, you know, lost people, but being like on his journey in music and him being with me start to finish, like that really like took a toll on me. I feel like spiritually, mentally and stuff. Um, And then everything that's just going on with like my label mates, you know what I'm saying? That's like frustrating. So uh, it's been a rough year, it really has like, it's been a crazy year. And then even for me, myself, um, just trying to stay proactive through all of this. Because it's like, you can't just tell people. Like, you got to keep going. You, it's money to be made. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you got to keep going. It's no time really to slow down. It's always like, go, go, go. So, um, I don't know. I feel like I give myself a pat on the back because it's like I'm making it through. Mm-hmm. Like, pushing through. You're doing a great job. Um, Thank you. Uh, but... What I wanted to talk to you about is um, just how you feeling. You know what I'm saying? Because I know Key was one of the first ones that really embraced you in your yeah. music career, right? Like, he was like, yo, hop on this. Right, Let's exactly. do this. You know what I'm saying? And, like, shit, y'all used to call each other best friends, for real. Yeah. Um, and, of course, the thug situation. Shit, even down to Gunner, because y'all was close. Right. Um, you know, we can't stop. And you feel me? And yeah. I want to take my time with this conversation because, like, is is we 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 can't stop man. Life go on for sure. Right. But you always can take your time. Right. You know what I'm Thank saying? You. And you always can feel, and it's okay to feel. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Like it's um, you know, like if you ever want to take a step back and chill for a moment. Right. You can do that, and you deserve that. You know what I'm saying? I know. I really do. I, I need just, like a break. So right. how was the um? I really want to pick your brain to like emotions right now. All right, you like, can. For real. I'm open. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm why here. do you feel like you have to like, you have to be so strong and, and go on, continue to go on, and not just take some me time? Because I've seen myself, and this is what I love about myself the most. I see myself at a dark place in my life, and I don't ever want to go there again. Mm. And the thing is, when you, like, I see myself kind of just, like, I went through some things, you know? And, like, people didn't really know. I didn't really, like, talk about it. It's actually my first time. But I see myself go there and get down in the dumps. (laughs) So it's like, and I'm not even afraid of going there. Like, I just tell myself I'm never going there. And I know the steps that I took. Like, I'll allow myself to get down, you know what I'm saying? Or I'll just, like, put it, like, behind me, you know? Even though it's still there. And, of course, you always have to deal with, like, whatever you're battling with at some hour. Mm -hmm. But it's, like, for right now, it's, like, I don't have time to get back in that dark place. Like, I had to pull myself out of that place that I was in. And that's, like, my motivation. I don't ever want to go back there again. So, a series of questions. How What was what was you going through? Because you said you didn't talk about it. You're talking about it now. Mm -hmm. If you're okay with talking about it, continue to talk about it. Um, And if you're not, you can just let me know at any time if you get uncomfortable. But what were some of the things you were going through that – you feel like you didn't really talk to nobody about, or you feel like nobody was really there to be a, a listening ear for you. What was what was one thing that you could think of that was really hurtful? It was mainly like love, like just relationship stuff that was like taking a toll on me, um, and just kind of like I'm a type of person to where it's like when you're around me. Like, and you're going through it or anything happens, it's like it's my own battle. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm an empath. I'm big on that. But um, it was really based off of just, like, it was love drama. Damn. I was lovesick. Like, I was just going through a lot. Like, um, 
as far as my relationship, you know what I'm saying? And it started just like weighing a toll on me. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? I had to like find my own independence, you know what I'm saying? And start getting out and all of that just came in me so fast. And then it was certain betrayals from friends at that time um, that just like people that I was like so loyal to that like broke my heart mm. and I didn't have no understanding. So it was like all of that mixed in at one. It was just like, I kind of started feeling like I wasn't enough. So I feel like I was like really going through depression. Damn. Um, and it was bad, but I pulled myself out of it. Like, how was you able to do that? Uh, my like family, like certain family members, like they just you know stuck beside me. And then like praying, like I would spend a lot of time alone at one point. Like I would just be alone. I'll be like. Bitch, get your shit together. Like, mm. no, like, and honestly, I like a lot of people say they hate social media. And it's some people don't know, but I get inspired by seeing people win on social media. Like, sometimes when I'm going through it, I'll look at other females on the internet, and it's like, even though I don't know their life and what they go through, but I love seeing other women like get pretty, look good. Like, I just started like looking like, bro, like, I, cause I deleted my social media, like, or whatever, it was gone for like a few months. But um, that was inspiring to me too, like, to get back to myself, to get mm. back putting clothes on, being me, you know what I'm saying? And then realizing too, like, good press, bad press. Mm. It's all they talk about you, you know, because once when that stuff happened, like with some media shit with what? a guy with thug bickering, whatever people going on interviews trying what, to slander, Lucy? yeah, like slander my name. That took a toll on me too, because I'm just like, it's a lie, you know, and like something that like that if it was like okay, true for something, and I didn't know like okay your angle with why you're slandering me it would be different but more so for me it was just kind of like that shit like almost broke me because i'm just like oh so now i'm on the internet going off every day it was like i had to take a step back like bro, they talking about you this would mm. go on when you choose this walk of life this is what you signed up for and it's kind of i can imagine yeah. the the wear it had on your relationship even like yeah that being a rumor even though no, it's not true the fact right. that somebody say that i can only imagine how a guy would feel Honestly, you want me to tell you something? It never affected my relationship. That's fire. That speaks, like, that's to, the, the one that speaks thing, to the dude. No, when I tell you, because we got understanding. Like, we got under, we had understanding. It's like me, like, and it's anything that I go into. Like, you ask me something, I'm going to tell you the truth. I just don't like lying, covering up a lie. That's just my personality. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I don't. And then it makes me feel like a... Like, I'm a punk. Because what I'm lying to you for? You lie to fear. So, like, and with us knowing that, it was kind of like, boom, this is what it is. And he know off the rip. Man, she going to keep it 100 with me about everything, you know? So, it was just kind of, like, weird. Because I feel like at the time I cared so much about looking a certain way. No, I don't care. Think whatever you want to think. Troll, please blow my comments You up. know what's crazy that you say that? Because, <laughs> isn't it, it's funny how, like, we realize things at the like peak of our growth mm -hmm. right or almost at the peak of our growth i say that because you reacting to some what somebody says to you mm -hmm. makes you look crazier than really? you ignoring them no seriously but i must say i'm big on this and this is one thing that i always stand on because i know with this whole like industry thing they feel like sometimes you can they feel like I like how be I'm gonna say this. I like how Beyonce handle her stuff. Mm. You know the quote where it say, "I see why every day Beyonce don't say nothing." Now I'm a little bit like that, but then sometimes you gotta bring the you, Cardi B in. Sometimes you gotta be real, yeah. let people know what the truth is, and yeah. set some, you know, and speak like. And I feel like when I open my mouth about a situation, they gonna feel me every time. So sometimes I ignore stuff, and then sometimes it's like I gotta let them know what it is. You know? Nah, you're right. So I think they both have their pros and cons, right? Or they both have their pros, exactly. right? And I say like I always be. I, be talking to my girl about this, I'll be like, you know, Beyonce is the greatest for a reason. Mm -hmm. She don't let us in her life all the time. So it's, it's really a lot to the imagination. We can it only is. think if Jay-Z cheated. We don't know. We don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she wins from that, that lack of information that we have, right? But at the same time, if we go on the opposite, not trying to compare the two, but if we look at a Cardi B, Cardi B wins because of her authenticity right she wins because of her her um 
transparency for mm-hmm. the like you know what I'm saying? So people love Cardi yeah. B because she's so transparent. And it's important now, you gotta think we in a different time. Like it's so many people in the world going through so much stuff mentally, emotionally. People need somebody to look to and be like, damn, I was thinking that same thing. Mm-hmm. Like back in the day it was like forbidden to talk about whatever certain on. things <laughs> like don't talk about that you right. know what i'm saying like it's it, it's like a different era now so i feel like and that's why i go back to the show it's about your purpose like i feel like for me i want people to look at me and i like to get up every day i'm jumping around but i like to get up every day and feel like i'm living in a certain purpose or i'm like helping it's spiritual but do god's work what am i doing this for if i'm like not here to like talk about when i had mental health issues and how i overcame you know, I could just be like, okay, I'm a girl that do music and I hope my music blow. But it's, I feel like for me, it's going to be like the females that relate and then be like, I'm going to stream her music. Mm. I feel like that's going to help me. Yeah, but you I know? say that's going to be the reason a lot of people streaming music. Yeah. Because before like, they, like, granted, yes, a lot of people going to like the music. But what happens is people, they buy into the person. Exactly. And they like, damn, oh no, I fuck with her. Matter of fact, what we going to do is, and this is what y'all should do. It's a trick if y'all don't know nobody. No yet. We gonna when her shit come out, whenever it come out, we gonna play it on on uh, on mute when I go to sleep, so the streams can just run up. That's what they gonna do because they just fuck with you. That's what they gonna do. Right. So, so I mean, I'm glad you was able to get out uh, those tough times. Yeah. Um, man. This is a a question because I have a follow up question from this. I'm just curious. Do you know how you got into those tough times? Right before you started feeling really bad. Mm-hmm. Do you know? What was happening in your life prior to that time and how how did you allow the outside noise to affect you so too much yeah like overthinking and caring about everybody else more than my truth mm. and what i was walking in like and then also to trying to control like even in love women always go through a phase where you with a guy and you feel like he ain't doing this or you call him doing this and that it's like at a certain point you have to like look inside yourself and know that you're enough and be okay with that and roll with the punches and be like, okay, this is what the situation is. You know what I'm saying? I don't like feeling like this. I never want to feel like this again. I'm going to grow from it. Mm. It's like then I didn't understand that. It was just like, why is it not working out? Like I'm trying to – I was I was trying to be too in control of everything around me. Yeah. You know, and that will drive you crazy. Like you can't. You just got to like go with the flow. And I feel like – Focus on you. Even people who have kids, single moms, whatever. Like, I'm not saying don't focus on your kids, but always make you, time to like cater to yourself and love on yourself. You know sure. what I'm saying? Because when you get too invested into everybody else around you, like that's what that's why people to me like a lot of people slip into depression and stuff because they feel like they're not getting enough back. You know, my mom used to tell me this, right? <laughs> she used to always say, "In life, you gotta love." these three people before you can love anybody else. And it's exactly what she said. She's like, you gotta love God, Jesus, then yourself. Mm-hmm. Even if you got kids. Mm-hmm. Even like, think about, if we could think about life being on a pl- on a, on a a plane that's about to crash. Right. Right, because we always, we, 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 we birth, and then for each year, it's like, we getting closer to our, our, our duty. Yeah. If we can imagine the plane about to crash, right? The instructors always tell us, do one thing when that's about to happen, they say, Put your mask mm-hmm. on first because you can't save somebody else if you can't breathe. Right, exactly. So life is the same way. So it's like you got to love, of course, your higher power, whoever you believe in, God, Jesus, or right. if it's somebody else, you you, you pay homage and you, you love that person, and then you got to love yourself right after. Facts. Because if you don't love yourself, you have no love to give nobody else. Really? At all. Seriously. And I feel like that was like kind of like the root of everything. Mm. But I'm glad like I went through it. Like, I wouldn't change anything about the path that I've been on. Um, and, of course, it get way deeper. But I wouldn't change nothing. I feel like it shaped me into who I like who I am now. And I love myself at this. This version of me that I am now, I love myself. Like, not that I didn't before, but I had a lot of – I was, like, at one, point, at one point, I was just, like, feisty, just like a firecracker, like, always. More so now, it's just, like, I'm laid back, chilling. You know what you know? I want to say through that? But. Swear to God, I'm not just saying this because you here. Because I ain't scared of you or nobody else. I'm just saying. But anyway, I say that to say when you live through that and you live in your purpose, people see. Right. Again, I'm doing my research. I'm talking to my girl, whatever. I'm talking to other girls and shit like that. 
And I'm like, yo, you know what it looked like? I swear to God, before you even said this story, really? I said, oh, I can't wait to hear this. I was like, it seemed like she grew so much. Swear to God, I, this is what I said. And, really? But you can, Thank that's what I'm saying. You. From your actions, you could tell yeah. because, shit, I think you even had a, I don't know if it was you. It had to be you because you probably want, like, I feel like you and Thug lasted a long ass time. Right. Um, are y'all still, like, I don't, I just. No, we're not together. I'm a general, so I'm going to ask. Okay? Yeah, no, so, you good. I'm, is that something that, like, everybody know? Am I late? I don't, I have no um, clue. I don't think they know. I think people, I, don't, I think they, no, I think they know. Like, we're not together. 